Can we create a complete application using ChatGPT? Let's see in this video. So here you can see that I have opened the website chat.openai.com. So you have to create an account and log into the account. Then we can type the query here. So let's type simple weather app using JavaScript and open weather API. Then you can hit enter. So here you can see that the AI is trying to create a result. So now you can see the code for creating a weather application. So let's try running this code. So let's open up the VS code. I have opened the VS code. Now we can copy the code from the chat GPT and try to run it. So let's copy the HTML part first. So copy the form and we can paste it on the VS code. So let's paste it here and save it. Go back to the chat GPT and here we can copy the JavaScript part. For JavaScript, we have to open the script tag. Okay, so we have placed the JavaScript. We have to change the API key. So before that, let's paste all the code properly. Go back to chat GPT scroll down and we can see this part also so let's copy this also okay so we are having three parts of code okay so we have to put it together then we have to come here inside the then the second one we can see this comment here and we can paste the one that we just copied here okay okay now you can see that we are pasting the data to an element with the ID weather display and if you check on the top you can see that we are not having an element like that so we have to create one so let's create a div and we have to give an ID so ID should be weather display okay that's all and everything else is done by the chat GPT we can format the code right now okay and save it okay so here we are having a form and we are entering the zip code here so instead of zip code we can change it to city so let's change zip code to city if you want to keep zip code you can keep it to zip code itself i am changing it to city And when you change the zip code to city, you have to come to the API link here. You can see the API link here. And here you can see it is asking for zip code. And we changed it to city. So change it to city here. Okay. Okay. Hope you understand what we did right now. So we just changed all the zip codes to city. That's all. So we changed the ID and we changed the name. Okay, so we are using the ID here. You can see that to fetch the element. And then when submitting the form, we can see that we are making a fetch request to this API. And when we get the response, we are going through the JSON data and we are showing the data inside the element that has the ID weather display. Okay, so this is the code that the AI generated. Now we can give the API key here. So for that, you have to open the open weather API website. So you can see that I have opened the open weather API website. I will give the link for this on the description and I have already created a API key. So let's copy it. You have to simply click on the sign up and create your account. So you are having a 
limited free account so you can create this for free then you have to paste the api key here okay and you can save the file now you can try running this so let's start the live server so if you don't know what is live server you can simply install the live server from the extension here okay simply search for live server on the extension inside the vs code and you can simply open it like this okay right click here and you can open the live server so now the app has launched on the browser let's zoom in a bit so you can view it okay so here you can see that we are asking for zip code so we forgot to change the text and we have to change the text here so enter your zip code okay let's change it to enter city enter city name okay okay so we changed the text now save it now if you try to refresh you can see enter city name okay now we can give a br so that it will come to the next line and then we can give a br here and also we can give a br here also inside the form after the input tag so if you want to style this you can use bootstrap and style the form and everything so we are not concentrating on the styling part okay now we can go back to the browser refresh the page okay you can see enter your city name so let's enter the city name so i have entered the city name and then we can click on the get weather so you can see the result is not coming so let's go to the console and you can see we are getting errors okay so let's go to the vs code and here you can see that we are giving this one as city so you have to change it to q so the api is like this url till here okay slash weather then the question mark q equal to then we can give the city name okay so i made the mistake with the city so you have to give here q okay that's all that was the mistake and you can save the file and we can close the console and refresh the page enter the city name and you can click on get weather okay now you can see the weather temperature is in fahrenheit okay and the description and the location okay so this is how we can create a complete weather application with the help of ai so you can see we got all the code from ai so chat gpt can help a lot and i don't think it is actually ready because i did tried a lot of times to get some valuable or real result otherwise you'll be getting some suggestions or incomplete code etc so for a beginner it will be difficult but if you know the basics of coding you can use chat gpt and create awesome applications and it will be very useful when you have to search for some functionalities like if you want to search for a http request in javascript then you can simply search how to get http request in javascript i'll show you one example while we talk you can see that i'm simply asking the how to make http request in javascript and you can see we will get the code the exact code to make an http request in javascript straight away here so when we google we have to check all the websites so you can avoid that so that is the major advantage of using chat gpt so you can see we are getting a clean ui and also a clean code so this is the major advantage so my take on chat gpt will be it is not yet ready because you can see it is having some issues when we try to search uh, you will not be getting a perfect result always so if you try to search the same result once more you will get a complete different result maybe some of the result won't be even useful so that's it so it can be a very good useful tool and i think it can help developers a lot so let's see what chat gpt could bring us so in this video we learned how to create a weather application with the help of chat gpt so if you have any doubts you can leave a comment and i will respond to them
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.